for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Pisces, recent past energy between you and your person. We got the lovers and it's with the eight of wands. Now, the lovers is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It is possible that years you could have started to feel ambivalent about a relationship or a situation it could have been that your heart was telling you one thing and your head was telling you another now the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart <clears throat> some people say that there are only two modes that we operate under at a time and that's either fear or love so when you can choose love it's saying it's safe to choose love when you get the lover's card because it's a time that love is brought to you in big bold capital letters to the center stage of your life so this would either be a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one either way you'll be quite happy about how romance is going and others will notice how much you're glowing yeah the lovers card is serious stuff it could mean meeting each other's family talking about the word forever now it's with the eight of wands the eight of wands it's showing a lot of things maybe up in the air you could feel frustrated tired of waiting but it indicates that you have to be patient a while longer. You've probably done all that you can do. And now decisions. They have to be made by other people, so nothing seems to be moving ahead. But you have to remember, don't try to force things. If you do, it could backfire on you. Just know that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there. And see where it lands. So, Pisces, like I said, the recent past energy, lovers clarified by this Eight of Wands. So, you could be feeling like you're you could be feeling like you're dealing with your soulmate there's a strong bond here a deep connection um but the lover lover's car here it feels like a union yeah for some of you you're falling in love that's what the lover's car can be about you're at that stage where you're, where it's like, bam. This feels like sparks are every flying everywhere. It's with this Eight of Wands, so for some of you, your person is long distance. And you, you can't see this person as much or as often as you would like. So sometimes you feel like things are not moving fast enough because there's a deep love that you and your person have for each other. So sometimes the communication doesn't come in fast enough. If you two are together and not far apart, it just seems like it's just things aren't moving fast enough. Yeah, there's love here and you or your person wants things to happen now because there's you're either falling in love they could be falling in love or the both of you could be fall with the lovers current both of you could be falling in love at the same time this is the this lovers card is a <clears throat> it's a soulmate deep soulmate yeah, so, like I said, I'm getting for most of you, your person is long distance. And we, if you've ever dated anyone long distance, you know how challenging that, 
that can be. So, don't force things, Pisces, because they could backfire on you. Whatever you, you want to happen, it's happening. It's in motion. But it's saying you have to be patient. Now, we move on over, and we take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got Ace of Wands, and it's with a full card. Now, Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very positive ones. It could be about accomplishments, could be work, career, family, romance. If you're having a difficult time, just know things are about to get better very soon. Very soon. I say very soon because... If you look at the picture of the Ace of Wands, it looks like it's sitting above the clouds. But no, it's actually burst above the clouds. Really powerful and fast. So, so things could get better very soon. Yeah, it's about being optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you could be feeling energetic, positive, or you'll be feeling that way very soon. This card, it tells you it's a great time to start something new. Now, it's with the Fool card, which is an indicator of newness in one form or another in many, many ways. It does indicate the purity, open-hearted energy, and innocence of a child. Children, they're trusting, and trust forms the meaning for this card. So, usually, this is a positive card. But there could be one thing. You're going to have to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because as you can see by the picture, he's not. He's not looking where he's going. He's trusting himself to take a step into the unknown. But we all know that can be one thing. But if you do so without any, any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. Yeah, and he's about to land right into the Pacific Ocean. That's all blue water below him. So like I said, the full card is usually a very positive card. It's about being just ready for a new, a new day, a new life. Just, and you're not holding back. You're just jumping right on in there. Or at least you feel that way. So, coming up for you and your person, Pisces, Ace of Wands, clarified by the Fool card. So, like I said, there's, there's deep love here. Somebody's falling in love. Must be nice. Somebody's, or the both of you, falling in love with each other. Can't wait to get your hands on each other. Yeah, you can't wait to get your hands on each other. It just doesn't happen fast enough. But it looks like when you two do come together coming up, your person, they'll be wanting to get something started with you. Um, if, you if you've been with this person for a while, they'll want it to undergo a new beginning. They'll, they might want to try something. To make it feel like a fresh new start or a new beginning. Um, and if you haven't been with this person for a while, they could be wanting a new beginning. They could come up with, what they might mention anything. Um, a new beginning could be, it, it's um, something positive, like, for example, Moving in together, engagement, marriage proposal, um, doing something big for New Year's Eve, and then things turn around and it feels like a fresh new start. Something exciting. So some type of new beginning your person wants to do with you. And with the full card here, it's a hell yeah, you're jumping right on in there. They don't even have to ask you. 
all they have to do is say, say what it is, and you're going for it. So, that's why the food card is there. You have no doubts whatsoever. You're jumping right on in there to whatever it is they mention to you. Some type of fresh new start, some type of new beginning they they want you, the two of you, to have. And it's positive. Like I said, it could be a number of things. Moving in together, proposal, something that you two haven't done before. And it brings about a new beginning. Now, we move on over and take a look at the challenge. Well, we got the Four of Cups and it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Cups can be a card about wishful thinking. It, it warns us to remember that you have to pay attention to what is now. Count your many blessings and don't worry too much about what could be. Because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So, when you get the Four of Cups, you have to be sure you're counting your blessings. And don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life actually has to do with where we put our focus. So, put your focus on things, people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles, which points to necessary efforts. You could feel like you got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So, be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. Because no one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very, very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Yeah. So, the challenge for the two of you, Four of Cups, clarified by this Eight of Pentacles. So, like I said, I'm getting that this reading is for... a couple that's... Apart, long distance, for the majority of you. So, the challenge looks like there's some sadness here with this Four of Cups. Yeah, it looks like if your person is long distance, they, they can't stick around. Because their work is back where they came from. Or your person could be the type that works a lot. So, it's, it looks like it's time for you to you two to part. Temporarily, because they've got to go back to work. The person works a lot. Or like I said, they're either long distance and they've got to go back to their job. And there you are, the Four of Cups. You're missing your person. Yeah, you don't feel the love. You do, but you don't. Like I said, if anybody knows about long-distance relationships, or just relationships when you love someone and they're far apart, or they live long distance, it's always exciting when they arrive. But when, when it's time for them to go back, it's really sad. And that's what I'm getting here for the challenge. It's time for your person to go back to work way across town. They live in Michigan and you live in California. So you don't feel the love because they're leaving. Yeah, this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. It's just for, this is a very specific reading for someone who's probably dealing with someone long distance and the two of you are in love 
So that is the challenge. Yeah, you don't feel good right now because your person is going back to work far away. And uh, let's move on over and let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Eight of Swords and it's with the Knight of Swords. Now the Eight of Swords, it can mean that you're holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future, future or because you're afraid of getting hurt by a new situation or could be for no reason at all. So you have to think through what it is you're afraid of because the truth of the situations are probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. Now it's with a Knight of Swords, which brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. Your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy is at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're gonna like what you hear. Yeah, the Knights of Swords is about activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. You're going after your heart's desires. So the outcome, Pisces. With this, with this uh, Eight of Swords here. Yeah, when your person, when they're not with you, you're kind of like stuck in your head about, about them. Yeah, your mind, for some of you, your mind, it runs. It starts to maybe make up things. And for some of you, you're just stuck in your head. It's like you just don't like the feeling that your person is gone. You just, you just don't like it. So you feel like you're paralyzed, some of you. Because if you look at the Eight of Swords, this man, he's caged himself in with all these swords. There's a fire behind him and a bull. I'm sure he can feel the heat. And he's just standing there. Whereas he could easily put one foot in front of the other and run, but anyway, I'm getting that you just feel horrible when your person is gone, but they're coming back. The Knight of Swords is about rushing in, and you know they're coming back, but you just, you kind of like lose it when they're gone. And as you can see with the Four of Cups there, yeah, yeah, this is a long distance reading. Somebody's dating somebody long distance. Or if you've got a f family member that you're close to, they live long distance, but you guys visit each other. And it really sucks when you... It's, it's a happy come together when they visit you, but then when they leave, it's like horrible. So anyway, you're all messed up when they leave, Pisces. You hate it. Yeah, you don't get that loving feeling. You do, but you don't because they're not there. And then you might start thinking things that aren't even true or that aren't even happening. But anyway, your person is rushing in. They're coming back next weekend. Or however often you two get together. There they are charging in. Your person's got a lot of love for you. It's showing you don't have anything to worry about. So they come rushing in, trying to sweep you off your feet like they normally do. This is a true, this is a truly, a, this is truly a love reading. You don't have anything to worry about, Pisces. You and your person, you're on the same page. It just sucks when they go back to work and you two can't be together or when they go back way across town and you two aren't together because this is a strong soulmate that you have. Could be a twin flame. Yes, that's a deep bond here. 
So you probably get a double dose of anxiety and sadness and depression when they go back to work or go back home across town. Yeah, it really sucks. Yeah, and the loving feeling that you get when they arrive, it starts all over again just to be just to be and you know you're going to get that sad feeling because you got to leave again so yeah I don't know how people do long distance relationships but it's extreme, extremely high and then there's those extreme lows so yeah hopefully you two will Maybe the new year, this Ace of Wands, maybe your person is planning that you two can come together and stay together. That could be the new beginning your person wants. So you don't have to do the long distance thing. But anyway, Pisces, that's your reading. Yeah. I don't like long distance. I, I don't know how people do it, but anyway... This reading is not going to resonate for everyone. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, it could be a friend or a family member, though. So take the reading for however it resonates. So, Pisces, I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below. Of the extension of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourselves, come back and join me for the next Pisces reading. Which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So Pisces, I can never say it enough, thank you so very much for watching, I hope you have a great day, I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care. Next reading, and take care. Next reading, and take care.